internal principle uh, so let consider uh, I'll put it back with the simple controller like this one here we have uh, the reference the controller and then the plant and here is the error between the, the reference and the output of the, the plant the principle internal principle said that if you want to have the, the perfect tracking of the output of the plant to to the reference which mean that e the the e the error here will go to zero so the here the internal principle said that this is is a cheat if and only if the first one the close pose are in the open left half of, half of the plant this, this is normal for everything if you want to have a stable system you have to have all the poles of the close on the open left half of the plant the second thing is this, this is important for the, the controller so you need to your this is the uh, the uh, multiple of the pose of the block with the pose of the controller have to be have to contain the post of the reference so with mean that here this one will be the boolean number of the with mean on the power of the reference have to be cancelled by this so normally the post of your plus will not contain the pose of your reference so as a result your controller the pose of your controller have to contain all the pose of the reference you want to crack all right so in another world you have this so if you want to have a truck in controller you have to your controller have to contain the model of your reference so that's why they call it internal model let's take a look at uh, this example so the same structure you see here and here you have the plan have a controller as they as here we try the controller very simple it's just uh, an integral so for the closed loop you will have this one and this is clearly stable and perfect tracking we can t go to uh, okay for this you need to have the uh, to calculate this you will need to have a thing called um, the um, the principle of the uh, final value theorem so 
from the is it each other equivalent way to calculate from the symptom in the uh, time domain to the upload or frequency domain and this so from this multiply by s and s you go to zero so this symptom this uh, this error, this error will go to zero. And also, if you look at the post of this one, this label on the the left half of mm, the plane, now we consider a little bit more complicated. So we track around. Ramp. Try to track a ramp. If you use the same controller, you have the system like this. So when you use the final value from here, multiply by s and s go to zero, you will have this go to two. So it's not stable. So it's not tracking. It's stable. Somehow stable, but it's not tracking. Still, you have a power equals to zero, so it's magical. machinery stable. But you don't have a tracking, a perfect tracking. So, as I said, we have to have the controller contained on the post here. So here, again, we try the we try the, the controller equal to this. So in the end, you have this one. So now the second condition is satisfied but the first one is is isn't because here you have the post here you have two both you see on the right have uh have the plant so it's unstable so now we try another thing all right um now if we choose the controller as this a little loop of uh, a p i with a p uh, with an i so you have something like this And then the arrow at the cloud loop will be the plan multiplied by the controller. And the reference. In the end, you have something like this. Now you have this and this. You cancel. You be cancelled. Then in the end, you have. Um, have the bow here will be equal to around we can use root them root uh, in MATLAB
Tout le B. is stable and this mean as you to zero we equal to zero so we have perfect tracking so now with that the, the things the things we this before analytically by the simulation to check whether it's right or not. So here, in the first example, I will open it to remind you. Example one, the controller is equal to an integral. So exactly the same. Here the result, and you see it's perfectly tracking up to let's say it's around four seconds because the controller contain on the the post of the reference go to the second example which we track now we track around uh, and here the controller then the same plan, but the reference reference now is a ramp. This is the first controller, which is the same as as uh, in the the first example. The controller would contain on the pose of the reference, that the system become unstable. And the last one is what we did. The result it reflects exactly what we prove for the controller one is stable, but it doesn't drop. You have a steady stay error here. Wrong way. The second controller you have unstable symptom. And the last controller you see you have. After why it's happened, it's become the, the, the error between the reference and the output of the system becomes smaller and smaller. In the real life application, you normally you will have to track a step like this like in this one is in power system normally they require only require you to track a, a step so which means that as in example one your reference have only one both here and your controller have to be have to con contain this pop and you that why you they require you an in the crawl the 
but somehow when you introduce this the power of the plant he the, the cloud loop has seen this paper uh, as in this uh, remark the system become unstable so you when you introduce a controller into a system the controller may become unstable so they need also again to ship the post of the column to the hub the open lab hub of the plane so that's why the, the PI control is so popular in practical application and also even with the um, the reference is a RAM as in this case you can also do a double loop of a PID which here is here only a PI with an I to create a controller which she able to track the reference like this so that why is in real life application PISD is so popular because it's very easy to calculate everything here and in especially in power system they try to decouple everything so in the end you have the C source system like this single output single in single input single output like this one so you you will use fraction PID controllers to control on the output you want it's like an inverter control so that's it